Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve that MS Config is not saving changes on Windows 10. So this utility is pretty important, especially if you use Windows a lot. And there's different ways to open it as well. But if for some reason when you're working in the system configuration utility, your changes are not being saved, this tutorial should hopefully be able to resolve the issue for you. So the first thing I would recommend doing would be to try and boot into safe mode. So let's say for example we were trying to get into MS Config here. I'd recommend opening up the start menu just by left clicking on the start button one time. Hold down the shift key on your keyboard while doing the power button right here and then restart. So again hold down the shift key while left clicking on restart here. This will restart the computer into safe mode so just be patient we'll take a moment here. So if you choose an option, you want to left click on troubleshoot, reset your PC or see advanced options. Then select advanced options. Now you're on this screen here. You want to go underneath startup settings. So left click on startup settings. And then left click on restart. Now you want to select the function key that corresponds to enable safe mode and in my case that's 4 so I'm going to tap the F4 key on my keyboard here and this will again begin to load safe mode on our computer. Okay, so now that we're in safe mode, I'd recommend trying to open up MS Config, so however you normally would. So if perhaps you went through a star menu and typed in MS Config, or if you went through the task manager, it really doesn't matter, but let's just say you wanted to open up system configuration here. I would suggest making whatever changes you were looking to do beforehand, if there was a service you were trying to turn off or whatnot, and then just click on apply and OK, and then restart the computer. So just however you normally would restart the computer. Now, if that did not work, I would suggest closing out of here. I would look and see what antivirus or anti-malware software you're using. There are some software that will potentially pick up on you making changes to MS config or system configuration as some sort of malicious activity. However, obviously this is user initiated, so sometimes the software might not be able to differentiate between the two. So I would actually temporarily disable your software or antivirus protection for a couple moments while you go into some configuration, try and make the change and then reactivate it. I know that can sometimes resolve the issue as well. Now if that did not work, again assuming you've already restored your computer and you're still experiencing the issue, what you can do would be to go into the start menu again and then you want to just type in settings. Should be a trusted Microsoft Store app, just going to left click on that to open it up. 
Again, you should really be in the main user interface when you're doing this. So we're going to open up the star menu and type in accounts. Best match, add, editor, or remove people. So just click on that. So you should be in the main Windows interface when you're looking at something like this. And Windows does update pretty frequently in terms of how it's displayed here. It's just going to have to kind of look around. But at the time of this recording, let's say we wanted to add someone else to this PC. You want to select your info on the left side here. So just left click on that. If you want to scroll down, make sure you're an administrator. If you're not an administrator, I would suggest creating another account so going underneath other people, add someone else to this PC, and then you would have the ability to create a Microsoft account, either local or online. Since I'm in safe mode, it's not going to let me do that. But you want to be able to have administrative permissions in order to access MS Config. Another thing you do would be to open up the star menu and type in MS Config and then just try right clicking on the match here and then left click on run as administrator. That might also be able to resolve the problem as well. So I hope we went through a few different methods that would be able to resolve your issue. And as always, thank you for watching and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.